Hey everyone, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY, and today's Friday Tech Quickie is about installing a new engine study, specifically the DSN kind of semi-fixed hard mounting engine study that we have here. So stay tuned. Today's episode is brought to you by you. That's right, every single episode created on Classic Mini DIY is made with the help of our patrons and our long-term part sponsor, 7 Mini Parts. If you want to see more mini stuff and more videos in the future, please consider supporting the channel on patreon.com forward slash classic mini DIY or by checking out some of my awesome merch like t-shirts, stickers, and all sorts of other really cool stuff at merch.classicminidiy.com. All right, let's get back to the episode. Now, as I said, today's episode is a quick one and it is going to be a pretty simple one. We are gonna be replacing the engine steady that's on my car, which currently is a nice adjustable engine steady with something that has a fixed rose joint mounting on one side and then the spot for your normal bushing on the side that mounts to the bulkhead. Now, for those of you who might be wondering why I'm replacing this, given that I already have a nice adjustable engine steady, well, on my last episode about the charge cooler setup that I was doing, in that episode, I had quite a bit of engine movement when I was accelerating, shifting gears, and I've gone through all of my engine steadies. So my one on the lower portion that mounts to the transmission housing, and then the upper engine steady, and both of them look pretty good. The bushings aren't in any sort of damage that I can see, at least with them in place. And I don't see any indication of any damage that would be causing a problem like this. So what I'm thinking is that the bushings are just a little bit too soft on top, so I'm gonna try a semi-fixed mounting system here with this rose joint on one side and the bushing on the other. So this will be a pretty simple episode. Let's jump out to the car and we will remove the existing engine steady and then we're gonna measure it up and make sure that they're the same length and then we'll reinstall this one. We should be in better shape. Now for this kind of job, the hardest part is usually just getting access to all the bolts and everything that you need to in order to take the steady off. But in my case, just gotta remove a few little switches here. So we got our coolant temp sensor for the EFI. Then we need to take off this breather canister and then that'll give us access to the three bolts that hold the engine steady in here. All right, and so there we have it. That is the existing engine steady. Now, I painted this blue. Obviously, that paint did not hold up very well. Um, I must have been just kind of clumsy. Now, the rubber on this all looks pretty good, although it did move quite a bit in there. I'm wondering if I just need to tighten that up a little bit more. However, next thing I'm gonna do is take this over back to the bench, and we're gonna match the length of this one in comparison to the new DSN one we have. Now. We have a good comparison here between the old and the new steady, but the next thing that we need to install here is the rubber bushing on this engine steady here. Now that's a pretty simple task. I usually use a bench vise to do this, and in my case, I don't wanna mar this up at all, so what I'm gonna do is get a little rag, I'm gonna pinch this together and squeeze this rubber bushing in there. It should be pretty easy. Also, it does help to kind of add a little bit of oil inside this uh, hole here so that it slides in nice and easy. So there we go, got the rubber bushing in. Now we can match the length of this engine steady to the old engine steady. So we have the exact same amount of length. So the way that I'm doing this is pretty simple. I'm using the measuring uh, lines on my mat here, and I'm gonna align these um, as best as I can. So this one is about 18 centimeters long, and we are going to extend this one so it matches. Now I'm just gonna snug that up with my hand for right now, but this will give us a good starting point for this. And the cool thing about this mount is you can see this surface is perfectly flat on this side of the uh, engine mount. 
And that is a little bit different than this one here that came stock. So this would go around the engine steady like so, and then you'd have an additional spacer that went underneath it here, which was kind of annoying um, when you're trying to install everything. So it's one less washer you have to deal with. And now we can get our two new bolts that came with this hardware here and mount this up on the car. Now what I normally like to do is install the one on the back side here first. I find that it's a little bit easier to start with this bushing because it's a little more rubbery and a little bit more difficult to get into place. And we're gonna want to run that bolt through here. Now while you're doing this, I would not go gorilla tight on that back bolt yet. I wanna make sure that I can get this up here in place where it needs to go. And then once that's in place, we'll be able to tighten everything down fully and completely. All right, and with all of those in place, now we can go through and tighten everything down completely. All right, and now with that in place where it needs to be there, um, we're gonna go ahead and snug up this tightening bolt. Not that it's really that necessary. It's not like that can spin out and go anywhere. And then we're gonna reinstall our breather and then plug up our coolant temp sensor and we will be done. everyone. So that is going to wrap up this episode. I think that I got a little bit of an improvement in the movement of the engine um, in terms of how much it's able to kind of shift back and forth while I'm accelerating. Um, you guys saw the GoPro footage that I popped in here right before we moved back into the shop. I do think there might be still a little bit more room for improvement. While I do have the new rubber bushing inside that uh, new DSN mount, I think that there is still a little bit of play in the engine mount itself where on the bulkhead, I think the holes are just a little large. So they're able to shift just a little bit more than I think most minis would. Um, so I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of creative solution there, um, but I'm gonna figure something out. I'll probably install another lower engine steady as well. Unfortunately, I can't put the engine steady that goes on the thermostat side on at all because the supercharger is there and all of the belt system and everything is in the way. So that's not an option for this car, but I do have the option to add some more on the bottom. Now, if you have any questions at all, feel free to post those in the comment section below, but you guys know the drill. Until I see you guys again, enjoy those minis and motor on. Mm -hmm.